that is going to be a fun matchup when it's Henry versus Morcel. We'll highlight that all day long. Pulling the trigger on the three, and Dante Scott hits from deep. Real good sign. Malik Hall with the hook. That dive. Yeah, Malik Hall is, is an interesting prospect, in my opinion. It's, it's been interesting because they really... Oh, what a pass. Oh, what a finish by Marcus Bingham. The find and the finish, and Michigan State by a pair. Bingham has to back it out. Tough skip to Hall in the corner. That three rolls home. Michigan State has hit two straight from deep. He's like, okay, are you... Are you, are you healed? Okay, we're going back to Michigan State uh, basketball. <laughs> nice bounce. Oh, and Smith has it ripped out of his hands. You know, his activity has really aided the Spartans in terms of interior defense. Brown, baseline, two-hand jam. Gabe Brown, nowhere to go. Shot clock again at three. I don't think he knows it. Henry's going to have to launch, and he hits. You heard the shot clock in the background go off, but it didn't matter to Aaron Henry. Scott backs it out to Hart for three, and Hakeem Hart gives Maryland their first lead since it was three to two. And right through the fingertips of Kithier, just slipped away. Turnover for Michigan State. I'm not sure if you're Aaron Henry, you want to give him the ball in that scenario. Oh my goodness, Aaron Wiggins taking advantage of an opening. Three seconds, two seconds, Ayala's three is good, and halftime arrives, and Maryland takes its largest lead of the half. And Maryland right back to work inside to Wiggins. Here's Scott on the attack. So was Scott, no, Scott, yes. Stayed with it, and he got the follow. Converted the shot, but Langford got a good look. Wiggins all the way to the rim. Boy, when he turns the corner. He's played good minutes today, Stephen. 17 minutes for the youngster. Yeah, and he's, he's taking the opportunities that have been presented to him. Wiggins Ooh. starting to heat up. That little spin and the finish, and that's a timeout. Smith back to work. Pinball's out. The rebound to Ayala. Count the bucket and a foul. 0 for 8 in the second half against this Maryland defense. Hauser. Finds Hogard crashing in. There's the bucket. He'll go to the line for one more. Watts the lob to Bingham and an alley oop gets Michigan State on the board. Morcell. What an answer. Daryl Morcell, his first three. And so when you're in that situation, you just Got to be solid. You can't take as many chances. Oh, what a fake by Aaron Wiggins. The patience, the ball fake. He's got 13 in this one. Watts trying to turn the corner, dribbled it off his hip. Hamilton on the push. Hamilton going end to end, and Hamilton count the bucket. Here's Hart, his three. Off the heel, Smith tips out the rebound. Morcel with a touch pass to Wiggins. Count it, and one more at the line. Oh, nice ball fake by Ayala. Morcel to a cutting Dante. Scott count the bucket and one more at the line. Watts needs some help, finds Kithier inside, and he feeds it to Hall for the two-hand flush. Malik Hall with 15 to pace Michigan State. Maryland doing a good job. The shot clock's under 10 seconds, so they're taking a lot of time each possession. Probing inside of the offensive rebound, nets in two. The attack on the rim, a lot to look at after this. You watch a lot of Aaron Wiggins spinning because we've seen a lot of that today. Ohio State. Ohio State, that's right. So they, they beat the upper echelon of the top Ohio. when they were healthy. Can't get it to go, but Hart there to clean it up. Yeah, I'm sure Mark Turgeon and staff are going to be happy to come up with a game plan to try to slow him down. Henry with the turnaround fadeaway. That is good. And Aaron Henry getting a little rhythm late and getting a few minutes in the Big Ten tournament. Not sure Mark Turgeon expected to have them on the floor today, but he's happy to see him out there.
The spin inside, and what a performance from Malik Hall. They don't sweat Selection Sunday, and boy, did they do it in impressive fashion. And the youngest player in the Big Ten, James Graham, at just 17 years old, dribbles out a huge win 